everybody. I just like to point out that piddle pads, I don't know, piddle pads at this age are just an attractive nuisance. This is what happens. They don't pee on them. They tear them up. But before they tear them up, sometimes they sleep on them. So let's just call them sleeping pads. And then let's call them tear-up toys. Calling them piddle pads is a misnomer. And my wonderful little invention over there, right there, that's supposed to hold the pads in place, is kind of a joke. Because once they discover how much fun it is to tear up the piddle pads, the game is over. <sighs> I tried. Pause. I tried to make good puppies who peed on piddle pads. I really, really did. But I give up. I do. I just give up. They just pee and poop wherever the heck they want. And I clean it up. And I'm sorry for that. But I'm tired. And they just poop and pee. And I just clean it up. And then I clean up the piddle pad paper, which will be shredded into a zillion pieces all over the floor. So please forgive me. Take away my puppy rearing job if you want. Uh, know that I do try. I truly do. But now that one is probably going to walk over there. and Oh, see, there's an example. See right there. There's an example of a dog going potty as far away from a piddle pad as you can get. So that's how it really goes. This is the truth of puppy raising. This is the truth in a nutshell. Not for the faint of heart, people. Not for the faint of heart. So this is day something or other. I don't even know what. It's over six weeks, under seven weeks, and about a week and four days until puppy turn-in day. And if I sound tired, it's because, frankly, I am kind of tired. I love them all. But when that day comes, January 8th, January 8th, Hey everybody, January 8th, that's the day. Everybody gets to go to Paws and go to their new only one puppy per person homes. Phew! Because one is not, thing, one's not even close to seven. My heart goes out to people who have like litters of 10 or 11 or 12. Something insane like that. Because seven is more than enough. Isn't that right, kids? Seven is more than enough, Rosie. And there, Rusty can tear up paper just like anybody else. She may be blind, but she's not paper impervious to the benefits of puppy piddle pad paper tearing pleasure. So there we have the two girls, Rusty on the left, on the right, Rosie on the left. And that, they're just doing what they do. They got tired of sleep on it, so now they're just going to tear it up. But, and...